I'm welcoming you all into another episode of financial accounting and today in our class we are going to be treating or we are going to be explaining a topic that we call accounting concepts accounting concepts you might have been hearing the word accounting concepts for a long period of time accounting concept is a term in accounting that form the basis upon which the financial reports the statement of account are being prepared without this accounting concept so many things will be jeopardized without this accounting concept so many so, so many errors will be in accounts in financial accounting but today we are going to see what is final what is accounting concepts what are the accounting concepts we have and the uses of accounting concepts accounting concepts Accounting concepts are postulates or conditions upon which accounting records and statements are based. I said it the other time that without the, this accounting concept, a lot of things will be jeopardized, a lot of error, a lot of error will be committed in financial accounting. But this is like a guideline. Accounting concept is like a standard upon which the accountants or the people making use of the financial reports are forming the financial report so i said is a postulate or conditions upon which account records and statements are based that is your statement of account they are being based the way you prepare your statement of account they are being based upon this what we call accounting concepts when we define our accounting we said accounting is defined as the act of recording, classifying, analyzing, summarizing, and interpreting financial transactions for the intended user. Let's look at the word interpreting here. When we are saying interpreting, it means the way I will prepare my accounts should be the same way the other person will prepare his account. And this is, this is being actualized based on the concept or based on the assumption or based on the postulate or the condition that we have in accounting and that is what we call accounting concept you can see the uses of what we call accounting concepts now accounting is sometimes referred to as the language of business and to make this language convey the same meaning to everyone some concepts are agreed upon that is we make use of concepts to make this language of accounting be acceptable or be understood by different people at a time what are we saying if i'm saying a you should understand it as a i'm saying b my financial report is saying b everybody outside as many users that can use it should understand it as b that is what we are saying here the accounting is sometimes referred to as the language of business and to make this language convey the same meaning to everyone some agree concepts are so, some concepts are agreed upon that is why we are making use or that is why we are treating what is called accounting concepts what is accounting concepts the preparation of income statement and balance sheet of a business is based upon certain assumption you can see again accounting preparation financial statements are based are based you can see the word based that is no matter how we are going to prepare our account no matter who is preparing your account no matter which organization is preparing account either a sole proprietor a limited liability or a, or, or a public or a public limited liability all of them must make use of what is called accounting concept that is why we said the preparation of income statement and balance sheet of a business is based upon a certain assumption and that is what we call accounting concepts among the concepts are accrual concepts you must have been hearing the word accrual accrued accrual accrued we make use of the two words either accrued or accrual but here we are having accrual concept then the next one we are having is duality concept where we are talking about duality duality means two 
the next one we have is entity concepts next we have materiality concepts also we have going concern concepts we also have what is called prudency or conservation concepts then next we have what is called money measurement concept we are going to look at this concept what they really mean what they are really working at what they are trying to tell us in as we are moving on in our class for today now the first one we are going to be looking at here is what is called entity concept entity concept what do we mean by entity concept when we are talking about entity this specifies that a business should be treated as an entity separate from the proprietor either the proprietor or the proprietors you know we have so many types of business or size of business we have a partnership we have sole proprietorship we have limited liability company so in case you are having more than one proprietor or more than one owner of the business because there are times that people come together to form a business now on this topic today or in the content of our class today we are going to be treating we are going to base our assumption on one person that is a proprietor assuming we are having just one proprietor now let's get to know what entity concept is what is entity concept what entity concept is telling us is that the business either um a group of school or a cooperative society a business is different from the owner of the business an entity concept is telling us that this should be treated differently that is the owner of the business should be treated separately from the business the financial transaction of the owner of the business and the business should not be merged together that is what entity concept is telling us entity concept helps in keeping the private affairs of the proprietor away from the business that is what we are trying to explain on that entity concept the life or the affair of the owner of the business is not concerned with the uh, with the business the business owner is on his own separately while the account or the business the, the business account is on its own separately let's look for example let's assume that we have a company that mr a is having a company called jones group of company or mr a is having uh, um mr a is having a business called mr a supermarkets what we are trying to say here is that it is being transacted or the transaction in the supermarket is not to be involved with mr a's that is if mr a is buying from the supermarket he should pay back to the supermarket assuming he's buying it from outside what we are trying to say is that mr h should pay it as if he's buying from outside and if the company is giving mr a money it should be treated separately it should be recorded in the account it should be recorded in the book of account as a separate thing entity concepts for example let's look at this example together mr smith started business with 1.5 million naira cash 1.5 million naira cash let's analyze the one the mr uh, smith's business now mr b is coming in oh thank god i want to start a business today and i want to contribute 1.5 million naira to this business now we are having two entity we are having two personality we are having two people coming together that is mr a giving his money to the business that is mr a is giving something out to the business and the business is receiving remember in our duality uh, remember in our double entry principle we said for every transaction the, for every debit entry there must be a corresponding credit entry now mr a is giving money out to the 
business in that case the 1.5 million naira that mr a is giving out to the business is regarded as a liability to the organization let's look at it critically if the organization is now going out to borrow money from the bank or from wherever does that mean the business will not pay the owner uh, the the loan the people back no the business must pay back the money that is being borrowed that is why we said it is a liability to the organization the money mr smith is giving to the organization 1.5 million naira is a liability to the organization that is the organization not minding who mr smith is should pay back the money to mr smith that is what we are talking about uh, the organization should, should not just ah is mr smith that is giving us the money is the owner of the business we should sit on it no that is what entity concept is talking about here that is the organization will pay mr smith back that same figure not minding who mr smith is in the organization it might be the general manager it might be whoever we are not minding who mr smith is what we are saying is that the mr smith is an entity on his own and the business is an entity on his own the business is is borrowing money from mr smith and in that case the money should be paid back that is what we are calling entity concept and when entity concept is is, is strictly adhere to it helps us to understand it helps us to know what is actually the profit of, of the organization it helps the organizations to stand firm if the organization is actually making profit they'll get to know and if it is a loss they'll get to know but if the account or the financial transaction is matched together we will not know if the organization is actually doing well or not that is what we are saying about entity concept if mr smith withdrew goods worth twenty thousand naira from the store for personal use you know at times the owner of the business does come in ah please give me this or give me this i want to use it for my personal use that we would not we should not just ignore the transaction that ah, is the owner of the business let's just leave it no entity concept is saying that we should treat them as a separate entity in that case we refer to that twenty thousand naira that is being withdrawn as a drawing and that money will be credited into mr smith's account that is mr smith's account not minding who is he is is owing us is owing the organization twenty thousand naira in which case mr smith's account will be debited with twenty thousand naira because it's owing us twenty thousand naira it's owing the organization twenty thousand naira and that money should be paid back into the organization because without this entity concept so many business owners they are just eating up their capital gradually gradually without knowing and with time the company folds up now we've explained what we call accounting concepts today and we said is a postulate is a basis is a foundation is a standard upon which so many things so many uh, the preparation of financial record and statements are formed what are we saying here accounting concepts serve as a guideline it serves as a guideline to make the preparation of accounting statement uniform get the word uniform because without these concepts different organization will be doing different thing and at the end of the day the accounts will not show the clear picture of what is going on in the organization but if i'm following the accounting concept if okay this is the guideline i need to follow and i'm working to it the other company or the other business elsewhere is looking at the guideline is following it and at the end the accounting statement will be a uniform that anybody that is just picking the account from wherever will be able to say that okay this is what is happening in this organization this is what is happening in this organization based on the accounting concept so what we are saying is that accounting concept is a guideline accounting concept is a foundation accounting concept is a lay down rules that the financial the preparation of financial accounts must follow and we explained we listed we we made mention of the accounting concepts that we have we said we have 
what we call entity concept we have materiality concept we have prudency concept we have a going concern concept we have consistency concept and the rest now with all that we've explained today i believe accounting concept is well understood and we can understand the usefulness of accounting concept because it makes the financial the preparation of financial account uniform to as many people that would like to use it the assessments for today that i would like you to work on explain what to understand by the term accounting concept explain it in your own language but remember it's a guideline it is a basis it is a it is a it is an assumption upon which the financial statement and the financial account are being prepared also list five accounting concepts that you know i want you to work on all this today and um you can send the answers to the address on your screen work on it get to understand what accounting concept is the uh, types of all the uh, numbers of accounting concepts that we have work on it and you can send the answers to the address on your screen i'm wishing you a wonderful time thank you